going to record Lily, and this is from 20 Progressive um, Solos. It has some 16th notes, but I don't believe there's any um, position work. So it's all first position. Really, the tricky thing about this is um, being exact about dynamics and the articulation that they put in here. For instance, in um, measure seven, you have um, two up bows and you wanna make sure that those are two eighth notes with some silence in between, things like that. There's a fermata in measure 16, there's a retard coming up to that fermata, so I'll try to, I'll try to do all of those and there's a lot of dynamics, so hopefully this will be a, hopefully I can do it. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> To, um, this is something you'll have to practice not with the bowing I would say practice this with separate separate bows just so that you're understanding all the notes now I changed um, the well I didn't change the fingering but I put a fingering in in the second beat you have a B a G sharp and F natural and I tend to like G sharp and F natural with first finger as opposed to G sharp and then sliding down to second finger F natural. I think you're probably gonna be more accurate if you just go G sharp and stay there. No stretching, no, just first finger to the F natural. And then you go back at the E where the accent is written. So let me do this measure one more time. <laughs> So anyway, just give that some more time 
um, and separate the bowings so you can make sure you're really confident about the, the, the notes and you can play it quickly separately so that by the time you play it quickly separately, the slurs aren't gonna be as tricky. Good luck.